Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jason with Buddha Farms coming to you Monday, February 26, 2018. All right, um, what I'm doing this morning, uh, I'm actually going to be making some more soil blocks. So, just is going to be a, a how to, um, what mix I'm using, uh, the, the process of the soil blocks, all of that good stuff. What happened was it looks like um, something got to my, my pepper plants, well, most of them anyway, and also uh, some of the new tomato plants I started. Uh, I'm going to guess some kind of cutworm or something like that. So it uh, looks like the leaves have been eaten off the top of the stems there. But um, anyway, well, we just got to plant some more. So here we go. Uh, the the mix I'm using, I'm going to bring you down in a second, but the mix is, is just uh, an Elliott Coleman mix. Um, for, uh, he wrote the, uh, the New Organic Grower. Um, this mix can be found from uh, Johnny Seed's website, uh, numerous other places on the Internet. Uh, essentially what it is is a uh, uh, brown peat moss. Um, a little bit of lime, some perlite, uh, some fertilizer that I've made with uh, some blood meal, bone meal, and some green sand, a, some just some garden soil, and some other compost as well. So there's just some ratios on there. Uh, you can find that on the site. Let me uh, let me bring you down, show you what I got here, and um, show you soil blocks and all that fun stuff. All right, so you see the mixture here uh, that we we're talking about. I've already mixed it through. Um, the one thing I am going to add, just for everything that you put in here, you want it to be a real fine. You don't want any big pieces of particles. So what I did was I made this little screen here. It's just some quarter inch uh, hardware cloth, uh, just a little wooden frame. Just I dumped the, uh, the peat moss and compost and all that stuff on here. Just push it through, screen it to make it real fine. Um, I do that in a much bigger container, so I had a big load of it. and just use it when I need to just create take a few buckets worth and throw it into this uh, this container so we can mix it wet it uh, I'm gonna do that now this is gonna be um, you essentially want this this is completely dry right now sterile mix um, what you want to do is make it a wet cement uh, type of consistency and I'm gonna start wetting it down Let's see where we're at here. Best thing, just use your hands. Just get in there. Yeah, we're gonna need some more water. I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of dirt in here. It's getting there little by little. Yeah, it's unfortunate that things happen though. You just kind of roll with the punches. Um, so uh, the Creole tomatoes, all my, the, all the other tomatoes I planted were actually doing pretty good. Um, I, I need to transfer them to bigger pots. I actually just ordered some because I just didn't have enough of uh, some four inch pots that I can transfer those two inch soil blocks into. You can actually get a larger soil block maker, but I just, I didn't. I'm just gonna, uh, just get some pots and throw them in there real quick and I can reuse those pots. Um, but those should be coming in in the next day or so. Uh, looks like a good bit of this. I got some dry spots, but. So what you want, you want to see a little bit of water coming through. It kind of holds together pretty good. I might put a little bit more in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go with this. It looks pretty good. All right, so I got two sizes of the uh, the soil block makers. Um, this is a three quarter inch size. I'm gonna use this for lettuces, uh, anything that's real small seed. Um, what, I, what I found for the other seeds, like the tomatoes, yeah, they're small, uh, the peppers as well, but it just, it's, it's hard to keep them wet and moist. So I, I do like to use the bigger one. This is the two inch one. Um, also, uh, so essentially you're just pushing these down into the mix here. Uh, these little dimples will make a spot for the seeds. And that's pretty much it. You put the seed in there, you cover it up with a little more mix, and then you let it go. So I'm gonna drop this in here. 
I just hold it. You don't want to hold it on the spring because it's you're going to push down into it. So I'm going to hold it by the handle and just press down and do a little wiggle. Do a little wiggle, wiggle. All right. And you essentially just shake it over. It looks like that. You can see they're all full. And you just grab it like that with the handle and the spring and just press it down. I do a little wiggle after there too. And you can see there you got a nice sole block make with a little dimple in there. So I'm going to make a bunch more of these. And all I do is drop the seed on top of there, uh, cover it with a little more of this mixture dry, and then soak them down. So I'm going to make a few of these trays because... Uh, I got, I got a decent amount of pepper seeds and, and tomato seeds to get in here just to get those going again. So I'm not going to have them as early as I wanted to, but you know, such is life. And uh, that's it, guys. Um, thank you for following. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll definitely answer it and uh, see what I can do to help you all out. Thanks for following, guys. Talk to you all later.